And hello, everyone, on YouTube and Facebook Live. And much love from Cusco, Peru. All right. If you can hear us loud and clear on Facebook, give us a heart, uh, a wow face, a thumbs up, something, so we can know that we're getting out. And to hear us. if you're watching us on YouTube, our team is uh, responding and actively engaging everybody today. We are so excited, so glad you're here. We are uh, celebrating. Today is our launch day. Thanks to all the hard work from our web developers, our friends at Punto Pro. We'll put their uh, website in the comments section. And if you're watching on the rebroadcast, yeah, welcome. Welcome to Language Heritage. We our language heritage. Yeah? Okay, so hit us up in the comments on uh, YouTube. Let us give us just one second. We're going to share our live feeds here real quick. So, <clears throat> uh, just one moment. We we'll make sure that we share all of our links out to everyone watching to the live YouTube link. Let's share this on Facebook. All right, and we'll share our Facebook live feed. And we're ambitious today. We're, we're uh, trying to do everything. We're trying to do at everything the at the same time, as usual. And we're learning now. All right. Yeah, so, we have worked a lot lately to do this. Yes. So, so we're we, happy now to be. Yeah. And so we we launched not only um, our website, right? It's, Nothing is ever a finished product. Uh, up to two in the morning, we were putting in Portuguese translations, but it's working. It's functioning. We are open and ready for business. We have a beautiful uh, staff of teachers that are just waiting to uh, to meet you on demo trials and trial lessons. Let's see. Share the um, Facebook feed. Yeah. So we have a Topi here. Hello, Topi. Hi, Topi. We have Darko. Alejandro. Oh, yeah. All right. Fantastic. Are our teachers. Yes. So we have an amazing group of teachers. Let me move this over just one second. All right. So <clears throat> type in the comment section if you're watching on Facebook, where are you watching from? And Topi, one of our amazing teachers in South Africa. Who do we have? We have Darko. Uh, Alejandro. Our German teacher, yeah, Alejandro, coming from Mexico. We're so excited. We're glad. Alejandro, Venezuela. Oh my God. Venezuela. What am I doing? <laughs> Venezuela. Alejandro from Venezuela. Lo siento, hermano. Yeah. And now living in um, Colombia. Fantastic. We're so excited. Um, let me introduce our co founder. So I'm Cody. This is Denisa. Denisa. Yeah, hello everybody. Yo soy Danitza, you know. Uh, we're, uh, I'm so excited to start this now. After a long time, our dreams are coming true. Yes. And for us, it means a lot because we are working to, to try to preserve our languages. Uh, we try to, pre uh, to preserve our traditions. Yes. And being from a culture that, uh, with lots of traditions, uh, for me, it means a lot. That's great. So um, we work here in Cusco with an endangered language, Quechua. Now, according to the United uh, Nations, UNESCO, they have five categories of some threatened, um, severely endangered, severely endangered, um, critically endangered, and extinct. So Quechua is one of the most popular endangered languages, as ironic as that sounds. And so, we want to grab some girls here. Um, Buongiorno, Bojana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have Bojana with us. Fantastic. Our Italian teacher. Um, yeah, so we work here in Cusco with an NGO. We want to give a shout out to Pura Vida. Pura Vida Foundation is a uh, NGO. It's a non-governmental, non-profit organization from Canada. It's been impacting and empowering the lives of young women here in Cusco for over almost a decade now. So 
yeah, shout out to them. Um, we we'll have our girls come in just a moment and greet you and catch you up so you can sit here. This beautiful language sounds like. Uh, I'm sure they're a little nervous, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so okay, we're going to uh, celebrate, as I said. This is no great informative presentation. We're going to teach you something. We have our champagne. We have worked um, tirelessly with our, our web design team with our teaching staff. Uh, it, it takes a lot of um, strategizing, a lot of um, market placement. And, and so, yeah, we're excited. We're excited and let's see. Come on, girls. The whole world's waiting. <laughs> and we're gonna have an interview, a little segment with Eddie. Eddie is our Maya, He's gonna be joining us live in a few moments from Mexico. Um, yeah, it's exciting. All right, so you didn't come? No. <laughs> and they're coming. I promise. Teenagers, what are you gonna do? They're like, hey, come talk to the whole world, and and so yeah. All right, girls, come on. Yes. Say hi to the world. Greet them in beautiful Quechua. Fantastic. We love Lourdes. Lourdes is amazing from Apurimac up in and, uh, the mountains. And the mountains. Uh, we have in, in Peru, we have uh, three uh, languages uh, mm -hmm. Spanish, of course. Quechua and Aymara. Mm -hmm. So she speaks, uh, she spoke in Quechua for her area. It's uh, Apurima, it's in the Quechua from Cusco. And now uh, Janet is going to greet us in Quechua from Cusco. Yeah. So you get not only Quechua, but two different dialects of Quechua. Wow. What a goodness. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is amazing. Yes, and so she speaks the Cusco dialect, which Cusco, if you're not familiar, is the, was and is the headquarters of uh, the, the Inca Empire. And so it's considered to be one of the purest and uh, most original forms of Quechua. So, thank you. Bye. Yeah, how do you say bye in Quechua? Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So now we uh, are going to go. Uh, let's 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 take a look at Facebook. Let's see how our our feeds going. Our comments. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, hit us up in the, in the comment section. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, the Facebook broadcast looks to be lagging a little bit. We're using two different computers, two different cameras, two different internet accounts, but it does look like Facebook is a little choppy. So we might end up, yeah, replacing it with the rebroadcast from YouTube, but nevertheless. It's working by now. Yeah, it's working. So if you have comments, hit us up in the um, comment section. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, you're on the <laughs> <laughs> What do we have? Alejandro. Yeah, in South Africa, it's 6 p.m. 8 p.m. right now. So Topi, uh, one of our amazing English teachers from South Africa, says it's 6 p.m. there. Uh, Bojanis. And Bojana. Yeah, right. Uh, we are waiting uh, for uh, our Quechua teacher also, she's going to be joining us uh, in a few moments because she sent a message. <laughs> really? Okay, Esther's going to be online. Fantastic. Well, let's jump into, um, again, Facebook, share the feed. If you know someone that would be interested, share this. Uh, we'll be on the air for just a little while. We just we have some celebrating to do. Yes, we do. And um, so, did the flowers ever come through? There was no flowers. No. Oh, <laughs> there were flowers involved today, so I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, so let's get into some presentation, but share the feed. 
Yeah. Um, we want to start a conversation about endangered languages, right? And what um, what we're all about, what we're doing. And all right, so let me share my screen real quick. Uh, we have two options for sharing. We'll go with this one. <laughs> so this is all kind of new for us. Yeah, we're having fun. So let's see, can everybody see our little mini PowerPoint here? Yep, you can see everything. Okay. You're So we can see the left side screen because we have a couple no, screens here. No, no. All right. Well, technical difficulties, people. <laughs> okay. So now. Okay. So let's see what we got here. There we go. So. Completely. Okay. Well. Yeah. No. It's with the one in the left. So make it bigger. Uh, there we go. All right. So we're on the right screen. No. It keeps keep going. Wow. How fun is that? Interesting. Well, let's go, we'll keep it small. Okay. So these are a little logo animation. Okay. Um. See, hopefully that is going out. The condor and the colibri. So the condor is the world's biggest. Um, we're over here. Jeez. So which screen is Sherry? Right there? Okay. So the condor is the world's biggest um, bird. And so for us, this represents popular languages, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Russian, German. Portuguese, etc., and the small hummingbird uh, riding on the back of the condor is our work with endangered languages. So, why endangered languages? Why would anyone choose to invest? Uh, I used to be a, a stockbroker and induced a little investing, right? Nothing too serious, penny stocks, some foreign currency exchange. But you look for market trends. You look for things that are that are trending, that are growing, that are gaining momentum and interest. Why would anyone build a business with a heart around endangered languages? Right? It's not a bad investment, a little counterintuitive. Well, let's talk about there are currently more than 6,000, depending on who you ask, um, the authorities, the linguists, um, you know, classify a dialect as a separate language. So between six and 7,000 languages spoken right now on planet Earth. So how's the future looking? Well, Columbia University says that in 100 years, there will be 600, right? From 6,000, in 100 years, 9% of languages, right? So how does, so you might be familiar with this, uh, this diagram of the, the world's language families, right? Look at this. We got German, we got Hindi, we got Persian, right? Where is Quechua? Where is Maya? Where is Nahuatl? Where is Guarani? Where is Navajo? Where is um, any of the indigenous pre-Columbian languages of the Americas, the Patagonia? Where are they? Well, that's what we're working with. We're working with our team, right, to to preserve these languages. These are our teachers, right? We have right now, uh, starting with uh, endangered languages of Nahuatl, Maya, and Quechua, right? and of course projected to expand and grow. But we are using the teaching of popular languages ethically to promote endangered languages. Well, that sounds really ironic, does it not, right? So, well, the reason is popular languages have been, by and large, to blame for the creation of endangered languages. When it's a economic power dominant language that in school, in, in your workplace, in the 
in, in, in the corporate sector is English, Spanish, French, you are taught that you're in native language, your indigenous language, the language you speak at home with your parents, with your grandparents, is something to be. So we promote the learning of English. Yes, by all means, learn English. Learn English with us, with our qualified teachers. But at the same time, we want to not do harm, any more harm than what's already been done to endangered languages, right? We want to promote them. We want to have the smallest bird in the world riding on the back of the largest, most powerful dominant languages, right? So how do we do that? Well, we do that through philanthropy, through scholarships for disadvantaged um, students. We do that through 5% donation to Puerto Vida from our proceeds. Um, it's a separate NGO from Language Heritage. We do that through archiving, through uh, documenting. And so there's two approaches that the world takes when it comes to endangered languages, right? And we're living in the age of the dinosaur. How many, how many children and scientists alike, if they had a time machine, would want to go back and to, uh, and to, and, and to see dinosaurs? We are living in the age of the dinosaurs. We're going to share uh, a link to UNESCO. They have an uh, atlas of the world. Amazing. Let me try to share this <laughs> screen again so you can see. Okay, so this Atlas of the World, for example, we mentioned they have um, the category of vulnerable, definitely endangered, critically endangered, and extinct. So let's look at extinct. Let's take a look at where we live, right? Let's look at um, Peru. Okay, search. This is on the UNESCO.org site. We'll throw the link in the comments below. Yeah, so five. Five languages are extinct. This is not something, folks, that will happen. This is something that is happening. It has happened. It is happening. It's happening every day, and it will continue to happen. And so what approach can we take? What approach? Well, we can simply, from a, a, a clinical, academic approach, just look at them, document them, try to you know record, and um, so to prepare for the days in which they no longer are being spoken on planet Earth. We take a different approach. We want to preserve. We want to revitalize. We want to be actively involved, to roll up our sleeves, to put our money where our mouth is, to teach Spanish, English, Portuguese, all of these popular languages, but use those proceeds to help um, train teachers that are native speakers of endangered languages, so it's economic development and to archive um, on our blog and our YouTube channel, um, to document, and, to, and to, to conduct workshops, speaking engagements, where we're actively promoting the preserving and revitalizing, to instill pride in the hearts of young speakers of heritage links. Okay, so yes, this is something that's happening, it's continuing to happen. Um, Let's see, a few more shout outs. Yeah, so in the comment section, if you're still with us, if I haven't bored you to death already, yeah, hit the like button, uh, comment, share. Okay, so let's bring on now um, Eddie. Let me add uh, Eddie here, just one moment. Eddie is our Maya teacher from uh, Mexico. He speaks Yucatan Maya. Uh, there we go, invite. Okay, let's add Eddie. We're talking with uh, Alejandro and Topi about uh, yeah. how we can preserve the languages if the old people, Topi was saying, if the uh, old mature people is not speaking it anymore. How we can do that? Exactly. So we're going to discuss a little bit. Let me get Eddie on here. Uh, there we go. Add him to the conversation. Bring him on live. He's at a as most of us, or many people would be on a Saturday, he's at Starbucks. So, add him here, invite. Okay. Well, let me add him manually because that does not seem to work. All right, Eddie, so I know you're listening. 
just sent you a link here. This is our live feed link. Well, Remember, he needs to be in Gmail. Yeah, he's logged in the Gmail. <laughs> um, talk to him before. He's all ready to go. Here, let me try one more time. There we go. Good in the, uh, the invite. I mean, take it again. So, yeah, as so we were talking. There we go. All right, Andy, I sent you the, the live link on um, Facebook Messenger. So I tried to add you with the email. It worked last night. Trust me, people, we practice. <laughs> okay, so Eddie will be joining us in a minute. He's coming from Mexico, native speaker of um, Yucatan Mayan, with many dialects of Maya. And uh, here he is. Let's yeah. see if we can get him on the your video on. We can see it. <laughs> All right, Eddie, are you there with Hello. us? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I yeah. can. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I, I can. I can hear you guys. So. Can you turn on your? Yeah. Can you turn on your video for us? Just like. Oh yeah, yeah. I. I yeah, beautiful face. I don't know how to use this. Like, I'm so sorry. I didn't <laughs> okay. realize how this. Uh, a bit. Now? Can you see me? Yeah, okay. We're over there. there so, yeah, okay. All right. So, hello. Oh, so, congratulations. And I'm really happy for this new project that you guys are conducting. And, you know, so as a speaker of an indigenous language, mm -hmm. I, I'm very happy to, to see a, a group of people really worried about endangered languages. Because in Mexico, so we have so many endangered languages. So we have around 12 families, 12 families, and so politically, politically known, like 65 or 69 languages. UNESCO wow. have recognized or acknowledged around 143, 150 languages in Mexico. And I speak one, one language of the Maya family, of the, and I speak the Yucatec Maya. So okay, yeah, and this is the, the the course that I'm going to 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 teach, you know. So <laughs> what makes me really happy about teaching is teaching anyone is yes. to show the way that the Mayas think when they are talking, when they when they are when we are talking, we are not actually saying just common words. We are describing the world we are dividing different facts different processes and yes. what we speak and so like like we do not have the the tenses that that we have in spanish or in english we have aspects of temporality processes of unfinished and finished things or actions right. yeah and so th this part is really important because so it's the way of learning a, la a language and i saw a comment in on youtube about like how to revive a language so right. I, yeah. Th yeah. This is, yeah this is a really hard process this is not it political is. and not an institutional or agent, cultural agency uh, work is a work of the humanity. It's the work that language heritage is doing. I mean, this is like a tiny piece of all of this process. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, but we have to be really conscious that 
No one has the power to change something more than us, more than ourselves. And so there are different methods uh, to, to revive a language. There are so many methods. Right. But it, so, and the more important now is like to, to find uh, the, doc the documentation of the language. And we have the example with the, with the, with the language, uh, with different languages that they, that, that we think that they were deaf, but actually now they are like powerful languages, like, oh, like, uh, he, Hebrew, Hebrew. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, and, and now is like, is a political alive language is used in so many contexts and so we cannot consider like something really that if we have the opportunity to use it and socialize the language i mean it's a difficult process as i as i can say again yeah. but yeah but it's in our hands and so being yeah. here with you being here talking to you uh, like collaborating in this project, I am practicing so many ideological concepts like decolonization. Like at the same time, we're doing revitalization. We're doing so many yes. things, and is yes. why I accept to work in this project because the preoccupation that you have that you guys have with endangered languages and to open to open the world through yeah a different code let me let me interrupt you for just a second um, okay uh, yeah and ask a question you talk you hit a moment on the world view are the way that we express culturally our our idea of cosmology, how the world began, the universe, life, and morals, and values, and myths, dreams, and visions, mm -hmm. traditions, ceremonies, all that dies when the language And I think this is fascinating. Uh, maybe I may speak here. How do you feel about um, indigenous people learning Maya? People from the United States, people from Europe, people from all over Latin America. How do you feel about foreigners learning Maya? I, I'm sorry, I didn't get the last part of your question. Like, how do they what? So, for, how do you feel about foreigners learning Maya? People that are, not, that are not like culturally Maya. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's an uh, essay at the same time, a difficult question. I can, I can yes. say that, that, I, that I feel really grateful by people learning our, our language. But uh, because when a student, let's say, like from, from the United States or from England, so when they start to learn a language, they get engaged. Mm -hmm. yes. They get really engaged. And that vision is what the teacher loves yes. when he's teaching. And the patient can like open culturally, the, the passion for, for learning can open culturally the, the village where you are staying and you can they will, they, they will, I mean, the, the people will treat you as a member of the community. Why? Because since the right. moment, since the moment that you say, Bishanikech, Bishanikech, how are you in Maya? Yeah. You're, I mean. Yeah. It's a whole yeah, world. It's a whole world. Yeah. You opened, you opened the whole world of Yucatec Maya for yeah. you. And the people will socialize. Oh, he's learning Maya. Oh, he's doing this. And then they will protect you. They will teach you. They will 
teach you bad words, nice words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> that's the same word in the process. <laughs> but they will, Fantastic. yeah, they will make you part of the community. In this, in, but this sometimes doesn't happen with our cost citizens. I mean, okay. we are in different policies in, in a, you know, so of languages, but sometimes this ashaming part, I mean, I feel ashamed to speak the language because my father told me not to do it because so he was, he, he, he was discriminated in the past. He didn't have the same opportunities. All of that discourse now is, 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 is causing an effect on the language. Yeah, so so we have we have that. Okay. Well, Eddie, we're going to uh, jump on to our next part. I wanted to thank you for joining us. We love you. We're so excited to work here with you. And in uh, all the comment sections, the descriptions, the link to Eddie's specific calendar. All of our teachers, um, they have individual okay. calendars with their availability. So we'll put that in the, uh, the comments the description section. Yeah, okay. we're going to take a quick tour of the web. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Okay, right. perfect. Okay. I can wrap it. Oh. Okay, so we're back now. Let's try to share our screen, take a quick tour. We're um, almost out of time. I really didn't want it Saturday, and uh, you might be watching on the rebroadcast. But let's, let's take a quick look at our uh, website, right? That's what today's all about. It's all about language heritage, the launching of our website. Here we go. Um, let's see. You are sharing your screen. Present to everyone. Yes, want to give some shout outs. We have Sina from Germany, good friends of ours. Right. Juan Franklin Berrio. Yeah. Uh, Juan Franklin Berrio Gamarra. Hit us in the comments where you're watching from. Glad you're here. And um, okay, so let's take a look. This is our homepage. Uh, the corner, you have our trailer right here. You can take a look at our trailer, it's a nice little video. Compliments of Nathan, from the owner and founder of Pura Vida. It's a nice introduction. You can translate the page. Right now, we have English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, and Italian, right? Um, immediate call to action. You can choose your. Let's say we want to learn. Well, first, let's stay on the home page for just a sec. Let's take a look. There we go. All right, we'll go on down. Um, Four types of people or groups, popular languages, endangered languages, NGO workers and volunteers preparing for service, uh, indigenous communities, and of course, academia. Anthropologists, linguists, sociologists, Latin American studies people that want to have translation projects, interviews, what have you. Okay? Totally custom. All of our teachers make your lesson and meet your specific learning goals. So how's it learn? You just choose a language, you choose the teacher, and you. Our endangered languages map here shows you where languages are spoken, such as Quechua. Statistics are anywhere from eight to 12 million speakers of Quechua, depending upon what source. It's feedback right in the footer. So let's take a look here at uh, our Spanish team, right? Choose, oh, I'm so sorry, this is for translate. Let's go here to learn Spanish. Immediately goes to our, ooh, oh, fantastic. Main menu in the corner are languages. <laughs> we got some bugs to work out, but uh, we are getting there. If you wait until everything is perfect, then you're never ready. So this is our Spanish team, right? You can filter. You can see Eddie, Daniel, Diego, Valeria, Alejandro, and Danita. On the left-hand side pops up uh, a bio with a YouTube video and a little link here that says take a class at the bottom. You can book a trial lesson. So 
So educated. Alejandro's. Hmm? Alejandro's the, yeah, so the, let's, yeah, let's look at Alejandro's since he's live. Um, like we said, from Venezuela, living in Colombia, bachelor's degree, foreign language education, TEFL certified, is worked as an English teacher as well, nine years experience. Look at all this volunteering. Native American population in Suriname, right? The United States, UK, Venezuela, amazing, right? And so you can watch this video, take a class. This goes to his personal uh, calendar. You can see his availability. We're offering for our launch a 50% discounted trial lesson. You click there, you see his, uh, you set your time zone, you see Alejandro's availability. Let's say we want Monday, seven o'clock in the morning, right? We can book this, you go all the way through to the payment system. This is a third party secure site. We use Acuity. Uh, yes, Alejandro, awesome. Um, so our whole team here, watch their videos, hear them talk, you're in charge. Right? Let's take a look at our English team. Okay, we'll go back here. Filter, go back to the, oh, yeah, main menu, sorry, here in the corner. Languages. And English. Here's our English team. We got Margaret Dunn from the United States. We got Bojana Trevor, right, now living in Ian, France. Topi, that's where this live today. Tawanda, a good friend. Tawanda is amazing. His parents are diplomats. He has a, a degree in diplomacy. And of course, Leslie is just a powerhouse. Listen, to, I want to just play a clip of Leslie's um, uh, introductory video. She is a fireball, full of life, full of just, I, I would love to take a class with her. Okay, so we have, of course, a little intro. There we go. Hello, English language Hello, English, English learners. I am from the United States, and I have been teaching more than 25 years. 25 years. Right. Can't you just feel the friendliness and the positivity coming from Leslie? I love her. So, yes, yeah, of course, main menu. We can uh, look at our endangered languages. Right now, we're starting with Maya, Quechua, and Nahuatl. Nahuatl is, uh, you can read the description here, it's uh, the native language of the Aztecan family from the Aztec uh, Empire. I want to take a trial lesson with Maya. Here's our Maya teachers. We got Eddie that we just had here on live, and Diego, which speaks another dialect of Maya. So. Fantastic. And if you can explore here our pricing, social involvement, free resources, our FAQ section, and of course our blog. Let's take a look at social involvement real quick. These are the things that we're involved in. We have scholarship available for disadvantaged students, right? And uh, receive charitable donations through Patreon. Um, we do give uh, charitably also to Pura Vida, our Canadian NGO, uh, our favorite NGO, and of course, Penji and Fair Trade for indigenous artisans, archival projects on our YouTube channel and our blog, workshops, public speaking awareness, and of course, in June and July, we offer a Spanish and or Quechua immersion program here in beautiful Cusco. Say hi to Dante. Dante is in, is in Suiza ahora. Ah, Dante. Dante. He's a, a former colleague. He's also a Spanish teacher. He's working in Switzerland right now. Yes. So, hola, Dante. Awesome. Hola, Dante. We need to eat some more ceviche, my friend. Come visit. That's it for today. I mean, we don't want to take any more of your time. We just want to celebrate. There are enough reasons, and we're not big. We just thought champagne was in order, right? <laughs> there are enough reasons in life to be discouraged, to be disheartened, to be um, fatalistic, anything other than inspired and motivated. But when it's time to celebrate, you need to celebrate. 
So this is for all of our teachers that have endured the months long process of building this from scratch. This is for all of the clients that will join us in our promotional 50% discounted trial lesson for our launch. All of the popular language speakers, Spanish, English, French, Italian, Portuguese, German, Russian. And this is for heritage language learners, people of indigenous languages of the Americas. So thank you. I'm going to sign off from Cusco, right? Yeah. All right. We love you guys. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments. We'll take all those, and we'll see you in class. All right. Ready. Okay. Ciao. Ciao.